Hello to anybody watching the video. A um, little different intro here um, than I originally had. Unfortunately, it's been about a year and change since this hunt actually happened. Mostly because I was a little reluctant to upload it and post it. Just because I had so many camera issues, everything just came out terrible. Um, although I've managed to go through and edit and find some footage that actually works. I had a lot of issues with my cross door camera turning off, uh, glid no audio, uh, glitched audio, yeah, glitched image, and then the camera wouldn't even work for about half the hunt. So it was pretty disheartening. That being said, I, I filmed it because it was a, a dream hunt of mine. I've always wanted to hunt Japanese Sika, so I really wanted to get a video just to remember it by for myself, and even really what this is for. But anyone who just wants to watch along, the um, the place that I went is a, it's actually a ranch I've been to quite a few times. It's in north central Pennsylvania. It's called Tioga Ranch. They specialize in uh, Russian boar, feral hogs, fallow deer, white tail, red deer, elk, uh, all sorts of other stuff. Um, not as big as some of your, like your Texas ranches. And on that same topic, I realize this wasn't one hundred percent a fair chase hunt and or really at all. And that's just because uh, where you can hunt sika deer here in the U.S., they are an invasive species, but they're a very tricky places to get to. They're also archery only. So I'm not an, a big archery hunter. Like I've done it. I'm just, I don't personally think archery hunting is as effective uh, ethically standpoint. Um, but it's still, I still love to shoot bows, just not hunting. And this is also a place I've been many times. Uh, first time I was down there for um, pigs, I ended up coming home with a Texas doll sheep, but this guy over here. Uh, I've been down quite a few times since and had the chance to shoot a few pigs with a freezer. And on my last time down, I'd gotten talking to my guide about seek a deer or coming back and trying because in all the times I've been there I've never actually seen one so we planned it I only had one day of time to go down there which for anyone who knows hunting is a, a crapshoot as far as whether it'll work out but I made the arrangements I drove down that morning which for me is about a six hour drive uh, I'm on the up in the northeastern coast of New England, so it's a little bit of a, a haul. But I did get down there. Then, like I said, like I said, I was having a lot of issues with my camera, so I did have to cut some clips and change some things around. But I did manage to get something watchable. As far as what I brought with me, this is the same rifle I've taken pretty much all my deer, sheep, pigs with. Um, it's my go-to. Remington 7600, chambered in 270 Winchester. I was just using some 130 grain Remington core locks. Very uh, plain Jane round, but I've used them forever and had great luck with them. Uh, I've tried some other stuff to not as good success, at least accuracy-wise, out of the gun. Do have a Tesco Buckside up on top, 3-9 power, nothing special. And I do have quick sights on it, so I do have usability of the iron sights as kind of a see through mount. That being said, I hope you guys enjoy the video and let me know what you think. Oh, that one lone one? Yeah. Why is he over here anyway? Uh, we just, we actually got him last year about this time. And we got like six with him. Well, he was the smallest one last year. And nobody really wanted him. And then he blossomed this year. 
We pretty much just got them just to shoot them. We didn't want to breed them at all. No, so you separated them? Yeah. Oh, you got them from another place. Yeah. Was he three or four years old? Probably, oh, probably four. Was that, that one year old always has a spike. Doesn't matter. They always have a spike when they're old. Two years old, they start to almost look like a peekaboo. They get a couple little tines. The one that goes out and one stayed up, one out. Third year, they small palm, and then the fourth year, they really start to palm in. Hey, you tried to get me to shoot him. Yeah. yeah, I'm sure by the end of the winter. It's a nice chocolate, so. Yeah, it's pretty. I wish we had about 50 more of them. Have chocolates? Mm -hmm. I saw you got some white ones. Yeah, I actually got a white one there. Oh, the one that survived. Yeah. I think there's a couple more out there. Pigs don't ever have a long life there. I can't imagine why. <laughs> They're dumb as a sack of bricks to begin with. I sure do. That guy's out cold. Are you checking to make sure he was alive? Oh, there's a white tail. Oh, look at him. There's more. Two of them.
Oh, he's running. He's running. Give it a second. He's gonna go down. Yeah, it's a chest. It's right through the, right behind the shoulder. He's going to go down. I can see the blood coming out. A lot of work, wasn't it? That was a little bit of work. Fuck. I wanted to make sure I got a good shot. I didn't want to yeah. take him quartering that deep. Now you'd end up ruining a lot of meat, too. Yeah. I blow out the whole front end of them. Where'd my shell end up going? Oh, there she is. Yeah, seriously. Wanna just give him a second? I mean I don't think he's going anywhere. I think I hit him just a tad far back. Should I bother with insurance shot or just let him pass? I think he's quartered away now. He's not doing too good. So I did want to cut back in really quickly. Something I at least struggle with as a hunter, which might just be a me problem, or there might be some other people who feel it, is that taking a second shot means you were unsuccessful because you weren't able to get the job done the way you should have. Uh, unfortunately, there's a lot of times where you need to do that. And as much as I don't enjoy showing a, a finishing off shot on an animal, it was necessary in this case, as uh, it was a much deeper quartering shot than I originally thought it was. So I ended up just kind of nicking the liver. I would have eventually killed it, but it's just more humane to fire a second shot. I'm gonna put another in him. You don't go anywhere now.
Yeah. Did I hit him in the hind leg or is that just a red leaf on him? I think that's just a red leaf. smaller when you're right next to the thing. They're not very big deer. Oh, I can tell. Oh. 